we're back. <laughs> so, would you like to sum up what happened in the previous episode for us, Phoenix? Um, I was molested. No, it actually happened in the episode just previous to the last episode. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, I, I masturbated. <laughs> and <laughs> had a baking set, entered a baking contest, menstruated, <laughs> got a brawl, helped an old lady, and what was the last thing I did? I don't know. Uh, so you got to a test, apparently. Yeah, yeah, you took a test, got 100% on it. Loot. And I beat up some chick at school. Alright. I think that's it. <laughs> and you didn't get a horse. Yeah, I didn't get a horse. <laughs> I wanted a pony! But I knew they weren't going to give it to me. Because they're douchebags anyway. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Uh-huh. And you can't talk to a horse, of course. <laughs> you have just discovered, <laughs> unless the horse is that famous horse, Mr. Ed, you have just discovered that your best friend's boyfriend has pooled his life savings to buy her a pair of diamond earrings. You're only ten, so his life savings doesn't amount for much. Of course, <laughs> and he's buying her diamonds? Holy cow! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was lucky if I could afford to give a girl a bike horn when I was ten. Anyway... <laughs> For her birthday, uh, later that evening, she tells you she is thinking of dumping him because she is not sure if they make a good couple. She can be concerned or not concerned. Concerned. You can tell her about the earrings, let her handle it herself, or tell her that she is, pl or tell her boyfriend that she is planning to dump him. Oh. <laughs> Pick one. I guess. Tell her about the earrings. She tells you she really wasn't thinking of dumping him. It was <laughs> just that she didn't know whether or not he really loved her. Now she knows. Because she gets, he bought her diamond earrings. This guy has a very odd, very women, typical view of women. Women own, are notoriously shallow and materialistic. She gets angry with you for spoiling her surprise. <laughs> Bitch would have left him. Man, screw her. <laughs> what kind of friend are you? Marcus Cripple. <laughs> Marcus Cripple. And the, Why do I have such curvy friends? I don't know. Marcus Cripple and the Tube Heads are the most popular rock group with kids your age. Whatever happened to Nirvana? Come on. <laughs> Anyone who likes them is in. If you don't like them or their new hit song, I Love You Blowtorch Eyes, you are definitely geek. A definite geek. You can be concerned with peer acceptance or unconcerned with peer acceptance. Unconcerned in this case. Seeing as how all your friends are idiots, I'm not surprised. You can spend <laughs> your whole allowance on their new album, or you can not buy their new album. Not buy it. So what if none of the cool people want to dangle with you? <laughs> I don't want to see them dangle, man! <laughs> That's you, just disturbing. You are your own person. You are your own lonely person. But you're probably a lot smarter than everyone else, too. Social sphere drops slightly, while intellectual sphere rises. Hey. Warning, this episode contains subject matter of a sexual nature. Again? You are in the house alone. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> probably masturbating and menstruating. While you are exploring... The drawers. You notice a Playgirl magazine underneath a pile of clothes. <laughs> I have one very distinct question, which is, why the hell does your mom have a Playgirl magazine? Or more frightening, why does your dad have a Playgirl magazine? <laughs> um, let's try to explain this. Mom is very uninterested in dad. 
And so now he wants to know what she is interested in to make her interested again. <laughs> there, I explained it. All right. I have another explanation. You know what that is? <laughs> Your dad is uber gay. <laughs> okay. He can be interested or uninterested. Can you explain why he's better at being a parent than my mom is? That would explain it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you can be interested or uninterested. Given your character up until this point, it doesn't really matter what I choose, does it? You're gonna make me choose something anyway. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue this time. <laughs> gonna do it anyway. Oh, you're just saying that. You're really interested. You just didn't want to admit it. That's why you're blaming me. All right. You can examine the magazine or put the magazine away. You're obviously going to examine it since you're interested. <laughs> the middle page folds out to show a man with a cowboy hat and boots with nothing else on. Duh. Right. You should already kind of... This was supposed to come first. <laughs> you try to turn the page, but you just can't believe what's there. Your eyes are frozen to one spot in particular. You know, I figured it out. Your dad probably just buys it for the articles. That's <laughs> totally. You can be aroused, confused, or uninterested. Can I go with confused? You can be confused, okay. <laughs> Is that even possible? That's my confusion. You ask yourself many questions. <laughs> All men look like this. How old do you have to be before people start to do things? Are all of their you know what's that big? <laughs> no, no, they're not. Oh, probably while they were photoshopped anyway. Hey, <laughs> it's not just size that matters, okay? There are other things. Hey, it's actually circumference. Let's be on the point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the things you learn in college. Oh, Lord. Um, you can ke keep out the centerfold and keep it or leave it alone. Wait, I missed that. What? You can take the centerfold out and keep it or leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be evidence. Uh, I'll give you a hint. They don't actually find out about it. Okay, fine. Then I guess I'm keeping it. Somebody wants me to keep it. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder about you in particular. What? What about me? I'm really interested in this Playgirl magazine. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I just read it for the articles. Mm -hmm. The centerfold guy continues to intrigue you. Every once in a while, you have a sexy dream with him as the star. <laughs> you were screwed up in the head, my lady. I'm screwed up in the head. You just received $25 as a present. Your mother tells you that you can either put it in your pig own piggy bank. You have a piggy bank still? I thought I had a bank. <laughs> or give it to her to hold for you. I your mother's money holding money, money for, for you? You can be trusting or suspicious. Trusting. You're going to give your mom the money? Yes. You're going to give... You're gonna give Why them... are you going out of order? It makes no sense. You can give up the money or save it yourself. You're gonna end up giving it up if you're trusting. Alright. We're not spending all her drugs. Yeah, you have no reason to doubt your mom's good sense. Yeah, except for the part that she's freaking abandoned you and didn't tell you about <laughs> menstruating until you were already bleeding in your bed. <laughs> uh, she places the money in, the, in a bank account for you. Yeah, you know, YOUR BANK ACCOUNT! <laughs> Alright. This game is ridiculous. Alright. Who made this game? I don't know. Who founded the American Federation of Labor? George Meany, Samuel Gompers, or John Smith? I don't know. John Smith. Uh, that would be incorrect. It's uh, Samuel Gompers, I believe. So I'm going to pick that for you. I am correct. Uh. Who is the first vice president of the United States? This one's easy. John Tyler, John Adams, or George Clinton? B. 
Yes, it is John Adams. Yay! You are correct. Who was the first ruler to consolidate the Slavic tribes? Pieter Ru Rurik or uh, Lenin? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's Lenin. Yes, it is Rurik. You were correct. Which of which one of these scientists is credited with the discovery of oxygen? Davis, Shepard, or Priestley? A. Incorrect. It is Priestley. So I will answer that for you. You are correct. E. Who wrote e. The Great Gatsby? E. J. Joyce, F. S. Fitzgerald, or W. Faulkner? E. Yes. I knew that one. I read that book. Hmm. You like it? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> All right, you got 100% again, thanks to me. All right. Let's see. While walking around in the store with... Oh, snap. I just realized that I forgot to set the timer, and we've been going for a while. So we'll <laughs> do these next two. Uh, while walking around in the store with your friend, you notice that she sneaks a small item into her purse. You ask her what she is doing, and she tells you how easy it is to shoplift, saying, They never check girls. They do now. <laughs> Lies. They do now. Honest or dishonest? Honest. You can urge her to put it back, refuse to stay with her, or steal something. Urge her to put it back. You refuse to steal and tells her and tell her that she had better put it back. Which you had she had better put back what she stole. You can turn her into the store manager, or try to keep convincing her. Keep convincing her. It's too late. She's already a hardened criminal. She murders the store manager and runs away. Or, she sneaks a tube of lipstick into your purse. Alright, well that's a tiny bit different, but you know. Uh, while you protest, the store manager comes over to see what the commotion is about. He sees the lipstick tube sticking out of your purse. He accuses you of shoplifting. He calls up your mother because you are trustworthy. Mom believes that you were framed. Yay! Well, she wasn't stupid. In the schoolyard, your friends are discussing something very secretively. You go over to see what's going on and hear one of them say something strange. What? This was supposed to come way before because it has something to do with the way you were made. You're already... <laughs> We're in a time warp. Um, so you can be disgusted, skeptical, or unaffected. Unaffected? Well, you should be unaffected. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> deny that your parents would ever do that, ask your mother for the real story, or do nothing. Ask mother for a real story, just because. Hmm. Yeah, see. If you were truly unaffected, you wouldn't have cared enough to ask. You should examine your feelings more closely. You should shut up, game. <laughs> you know, it makes sense. I mean, the kids were talking about how you were delivered by a stork, which makes much more sense than what your parents told you. I mean, your parents gave you some ridiculous story about how your father inserted his penis into your mother's vagina <laughs> and inseminated her ovaries with his sperm. I mean, that's just silly, right? <laughs> Holy messed up, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this episode probably early so that I can remember to check the uh, timer next time. So we'll be yeah. back in the next episode.